the new omina ride line has been revealed so this is the grade 0 omina kitty next the grade 1 omina krog acton vanguard circle once per turn so blast one look at top five cards of your deck choose up to one grade three or greater card with omina gruzio and his card name from among them and add it to hand and if you did not so charge two the grade 2 Omina Owls on place from Omina Krog. Search your deck for up to 1 trigger unit, put it into soul, and shuffle your deck. If you put a card into soul, draw a card. This is the grade 3 Evil Eye Dragon Omina Gruzio. On place on Vanguard Circle, check top 5 and choose up to 1 card with Omina Gruzio in its card name or up to 1 Mask of Hydrogum. Hydrogum from among them, reveal it and put it to hand, shuffle. Adds consistency to the deck. Second skill, Vanguard Circle, once per turn, so best one. Choose up to one trigger unit from your drop, bind it, and until end of turn, your opponent cannot increase power with trigger effects of cards with the same trigger icon as any card in your bind zone. This is really interesting. Reminds me of the Link Joker unit. I think it's Brand, the one that makes your triggers opposite. So instead of healing, you deal you get the damage but this one's a nerfed version so your opponent just doesn't get power from trigger units and I think it's very cool and you're guaranteed already one trigger unit since the grade 2 already searches a trigger unit and you can just soul blast for the cost and it also gets a masques on the same set it can only be ridden from a grade 3 Omina Gruzio and the act once per turn remove a Om Omina Gruzio choose up to one trigger unit from your drop bind it and this unit gets all of your opponent's shields with the trigger icon as any card in your bind zone gets shield minus 5000 this is this is pretty big because there's not that much shield value in overdress and then your opponent cannot increase power with those trigger effects. Third skill, auto once per turn at the end of the battle this unit attack. CB1 put two back row rear guards into soul. Stand this unit and it gets drive minus one. So it's a restanding masques. Putting rear guards to soul so you can use some of Greedon's support. Talking about support, they also revealed some Ruin Collector on play, Soul Charge 1 Or you may, Soul Charge 1 Count Rear Guard Circle when this unit is put to Soul For the cost of the ability of your Vanguard with Omina Gruzio in its card name It may be regarded as putting 2 units So it counts as 2 So you put it Yeah, you can just put this alone then Misery Wing Dragon during your turn, this unit gets plus 5 for each type of trigger icon in your bind zone. So mostly around 10 to 15k. Or if you run all if or if you run rainbow triggers can be up to plus 20. On place on rear guard circle, if there are two or more types of trigger icons in your bind zone, soul blast two, draw a card. So I actually can play one off of the front or like random or a trigger that you're not gonna use since you're gonna search it with the grade 2 then grade 1 and then this one this card from grade 1 that you can use or you can experiment with Bubetsu when put to soul CB1 choose a card from your hand call it to open rear you can dark states have some cards that opens up your rear guard circle like jewel core so you can use this to have extra attack but you know you can experiment with it they also revealed magnolia masques can only be ridden from grade 3 card with magnolia in its card name during your turn all your rear guards one rear guard circle with dragon 3 marker can attack from the back row and get plus 10 so that's 15k with dragon 3 marker and then act vanguard circle once per turn remove a card with magnolia and different card name from this unit from hand soul or drop and this unit gets auto on vanguard circle when your rear guard attacks a vanguard from the back row choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it to have up to three retires so 
you're just like Leonard Masquez, you have retire. But you will need a lot of CV for this if you want to fill your field since it will cost 1 CB for each Dragon 3 marker and then Magnolia Masquez support, Force Grow Dragon on place other than Battle Phase, if you have Magnolia Masquez as Vanguard, CB1 choose a Great or Discard from your drop up to the same number of Dragon 3 markers on your rear call them the rear, rear guard circle so you can yeah, so it, you call as much as Dragon 3 markers as you have. So if you have 3, you call 3. If you somehow reach 5, you can call 5. Which is insane. But it also costs CB, so... It clashes with the cost for the Dragon 3. And then on attack, choose one of your Vanguard Jig Magnolia and his card name, get plus 5. So Magnolia doesn't have problem with CB you can so maybe you will have enough to make dragon 3 markers and then you also have Alpin who counter charges you may also use Serol since on place so that's one you can check top 5 for a Magnolia and its card name and add it to hand and then if you have a grade 3 card with Magnolia and its card name your persona ride also increase back row so if you do find space you can use this so if you have dragon 3 markers in your back row and then you have this that's gonna be plus 25 to front with magnolia masques and these are the dragon 3 marker makers so cb1 so that's one and then this one cb i think magnolia masques is pretty good and we'll see how people make their builds uh, that's it for this video thanks for watching